such a nice comment you made there. You and I grew up obviously listening to the same music. You always pick the music that I would pick to learn. <clears throat> this, in my opinion, is when music was in its most creative period. Thank you for all you do. Thanks, Ken, for those kind words. I really appreciate it. Hello, Bob. Good afternoon to you. I know you're in Ohio. <laughs> and good evening all from Sydney. Very good. From Smoky. Oh, Smoky, Northwest Ohio. Hey, Bob. <coughs> it's great to be here. My name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. Fantastico. Fantastico. Today, today's live stream is called Playing a Difficult Passage. And the reason I chose Stairway to Heaven, a little clip from Stairway to Heaven, is because I've had some comments saying, how do you play this? How does it work? And so I'm going to use Stairway to Heaven as an example. <coughs> Hopefully nobody goes, no, Stairway to Heaven. <coughs> uh, I think Stairway to Heaven is a great song. Um, it's a fun song. And there's a lot of good chord progressions and really... Um, what do you want to say? What would you say, Bob? What would you say, Ken? There's so many different techniques and things like that that are really important to especially the early 70s, late 60s, early 70s, mid 70s, and has permeated guitar music uh, for a long time. And, you know, it goes into The Who and, and Jethro Tull and different bands that played acoustic guitars or even uh, just electric guitars. So... I think that's why it's so important to look at this music. So we're going to talk about some chords. Let's put some chords on the screen for you. I'm going to be playing... Hello, Dean. Howdy, y'all, from Hurricane. That's how he says it, by the way. He's a native. I just want to get that uh, chord box on the screen so you can see it really well. <coughs> By the way, we missed you, Dean. A minor 7. This is how I play the A minor 7. You know, when I first started playing this song, and when I have played this song, when I thought about playing this chorus from Led Zeppelin from uh, Stairway, I was thinking, oh, it only has two chords, A minor and D. And then I forgot about this. We'll talk about that in just a second. But really, uh, it revolves around the A minor chord, which is that chord right there. But this chord, this A minor 7, that G right there on the third fret, is, is what we call the seventh of the chord. And it sticks out because it's right on top. And then it goes to the A minor. So we've got this. And then we go to D sus4. Like that. I play it like a D chord like this, and I put my pinky down on the third fret. Like that. D sus4. I mean, I have it written like this, but I just hold that whole D chord with my middle finger, my second finger right there on the second fret E string. Because when you let go of your pinky, then you have that second fret right there, so I just keep it right down like that. But I think of that D chord and the sus4 chord and also the, the add 9 chord like that as an embellishment. Because you know there's places, well there's a place in the, you know in Stairway when it does that. Right, we have this open E string and then we put it down, we have a D chord and then we put our pinky down on the 3rd fret when it does it going into the lead. Oops, sorry. I never used to think of that, those things as being separate chords. I always thought of them as being embellishments to the D chord. So uh, that's the way I thought of it uh, when I was first learning. I was just thinking, oh, just... And also, if you... You could lift this finger too, the second finger, excuse me, the first finger and the second finger off of the D chord and that's an embellishment there. You can lift your second finger off the E string 
and you can lift your together. Okay, let's go to the next chord. D sus4, and I've already been talking about the D. And so you do that a couple times, then you go to this E minor with a D bass. So this, it's, it's from the bar chord here. Right, we're just playing the E string, the B string, and the G string. So we're on the seventh fret, the eighth fret, and the ninth fret. What's interesting about this is this is a root position chord. It goes E, G, B, and that's in root position. The E is on the bottom. But then we have this D open D, like that. And then we go to our D chord like this. Sorry. We got that open D still, and then we have a D, F sharp, A. And then we take that same shape and go down two frets and play our C with a D bass. So we got a C chord here, C, E, G, with that D on the bottom. And then back to our D chord again. So right there we did that. E minor with a D bass, a D chord, like that. C with a D bass, back to D. So those are the chords. So if you didn't get those right away and you watch this replay and you can see what's going on, write those down or something. Maybe, I was just thinking, maybe I should put these chords in my book. I've got, I've got lots of chords. I used to have a chord book called 7,744 Chords for Guitar. I think it's out in my shop and on, in a box or something because, um, you know, when I got it, after I'd played with it for a few days, I realized that some of the chords were, were labeled wrong. <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh, what good is this? But... Um, I do a lot of chords. Anyway, uh, maybe I should put those in my book. The lyrics to Stairway to Heaven will be in my book next month, in July. July 15th is when I come out with the new version of my book. Every 15th of the month. Oh, you know, I've got a little rant that I want to talk to you about. Do I want to do it now? Let's talk about it for a second. I'm going to pull up a document that I wrote yesterday. And let's see, do I have, there's a couple of things I want to show you too. Ah, there it is, I found it. Bob says, oh, Dean says, Hal, love the YouTube plaque on the wall. Right there, there's my 100,000 plaque or whatever they call it that they give you for reaching 100,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, YouTube. Appreciate that. They didn't charge me anything. That's really great. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to do a rant just for a second here. <laughs> Maybe a couple of minutes. Because there's a copyright rant that I have. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I held a live stream that I called, Why is this recording out of tune? Do you remember that? If you don't, you can go back and look at it. And I played three small clips <coughs> from the following songs. I played Every Breath You Take, Bohemian Rhapsody, and California Dreamin'. A and I actually recorded those from YouTube. I just copied it. And there was 10 seconds. Well, um, YouTube, I don't know if it was automatically or if they did it, you know, on, by hand. But uh, they said, I played 10 seconds of Every Breath You Take, 14 seconds of Bohemian Rhapsody, and 20 seconds of California Dreamin', which is really true because I put, put it on the screen, uh, and you might remember me doing that. And uh, what I was doing is I was taking my tuner. I had my tuner up. I'm using a Unitune right here by TC Electronic. They do not pay me to say that. Love this tuner. And I was putting it on there, and then I was playing along with the recording. And what we were finding out is that these original recordings are out of tune to standard 440 tuning. And I was teaching how to tune 
to that. So if you want to look at that, that's a couple weeks old. It's my live stream that uh, I did a few a couple weeks ago, I think it was. Right Today is uh, June 29th, in case you wonder, 2023. In case you're wa looking this at like a year in, in the future or something like that. Okay, the video was 31 minutes long. Let me show you what I got from them. All right, this is what I got from them. Now what it says here, I'm going to read it in case you can't read it. it uh, the video, it says at the top, why is this recording out of tune? That's the video that I did. It says video copyright details. The status overview says video cannot be monetized. The content ID claim on your video doesn't affect your channel. This is not a copyright strike. Your channel is not affected. The visibility is public. But the monetization, you are ineligible to, you know, monetize this video. Because... The copyright owner of every breath you take, it says, they're getting the, the ad revenue is paid to the copyright owner. For Bohemian Rhapsody, the ad revenue is paid to the copyright owner. For California Dreamin', the ad revenue is paid to the copyright owner. Can you see that? Take a screenshot of it or something and look at it. I put that up there just to let you know. So let me go back and just talk about this just for another little bit so what happens here is 44 seconds of my video I played other people's music their original music yes I did that I confess but my video was 31 minutes long and I don't mind if someone takes a portion of my ad revenue you know we share but why do they have to take all of it I mean they only took like less than one percent it's like I figured it out 0.744% of the video was those three clips of music combined and they take all the ad money and they give me nothing. Now I ask you, is that fair? Is it fair? Maybe I should do just a video on this one particular thing instead of putting it in another video. Anyway, that's why I ask you to sign up at Patreon and become a Patreon uh, patron there or at Subscribestar or get in touch with me at LessonsWithHal at gmail.com and uh, support me there, and I'll send you my book with updates. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's see. Oh, let's now, let's go on to this. How did I learn this? How did I learn this song? I'll tell you how I did it. I listened to it, and you know what? I only have one Led Zeppelin album. That's all I've got. That's it. Now, friends of mine had Led Zeppelin and things like that, and somehow I learned this song. I'm trying to remember if I actually have the recording of it. I have the one with the, the guy with the sticks on his back. Is that Led Zeppelin IV? Is that, is that the one that has Stairway to Heaven in it? So... You let me know in the comments if you remember which album Stairway to Heaven was on. So I learned this, but I, I listened to it a lot. And so that's the key. And, uh, you know, in my video, by the way, in the description of this video is my, uh, the link to the playlist of Stairway to Heaven. There's seven videos. I broke it down into seven different videos, like the intro and verse one and the chorus and all of that kind of stuff and it needed seven videos and I didn't want to do really one long like hour or hour and a half video I broke them down into smaller segments so that you could digest them that way I just thought it would be a better thing to do so this right here it sounds like this like that now the counting is something like this. One, let's see if I can do it. One and two and three and four and 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 one. See that? 
So that's the counting. Now I could break it down into eighth notes, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Six, seven. Okay, that's all right. There we go. Love that riff. It was on Led Zeppelin IV. Okay, yeah. Thank you. That's the one I've got. <clears throat> but you know what? I didn't buy it until like, I don't know, I might have been 40 years old or 45 years old when I bought it. I'm a little older than that now. You know what? I'm 65. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Of course, when I'm playing it, I don't do that. I do, I do this. Makes me wonder. Of course, that's all there is, just the ooh, it makes me wonder part, right? I don't have to worry about singing too much else. But that's how I learned it. I listened to it over and over and over. Whether it was on the radio or on my friend's stereo or something like that, that's what you need to do if you want to learn that. And the same thing happens for any other difficult thing you want to do. Um, th I think the hardest thing is not just the chords. <laughs> But it's the strumming and the rhythm, right? Now you'll notice if I count, when I counted eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Watch my hand, okay? It's going to go down every time I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it goes, let's see, it goes. Then it goes into that part right there. So um, now, you know what I would do if I was going to actually write this out on a piece of paper? I would record that, and I just did, because this is a live recording. I would go back and look at that, and maybe I'd even slow it down. <laughs> Dean says, 65, Hal, I'm going to have to start referring to you as the kid. That's right, I'm just a young kid, compared to some of you out there. So, I would actually, <laughs> let's go back to what I was saying. Crack me up, Dean. I would have to go back and, um, <laughs> you guys. And actually, uh, you know, when I did this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. You'll notice I'm kind of accenting certain parts, and uh, I'm also counting those numbers a little louder so I can remember what they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One. And that's what you have to do. And then I would actually listen to that and write it down and do accents on it and things like that and put the chords. Uh, now, if you need to, I've done this several times slowly. You can still slow it down and play with me. And you figured out what the chords were. A minor 7 to A minor. D sus 4 to D. E minor with a D bass. D with a B, uh, D, D with a D bass. So it's a D chord. C with a D bass and then back to D. So that's what you do. You just have to do it over and over and over. Now, if you're not willing to do that, then you're not willing to pay the price to learn how to how to do that, you know, how to learn to play it, because that's what it takes. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes concentration and focus, and sometimes, and I'll tell you, this is the hardest thing that I've ever done, is to play something, learn how to play something, and then try to communicate it to other people, especially writing it down. So the tabs in my book, they're the hardest things, because a lot of times I have to figure out what the rhythms are. 
Now I can go to other people's music, like if they write it down and I can kind of look at it, but I always check it with my ear and say, is that really what it is? I've had the experience of buying music, official music that was supposed to be like um, Classical Gas by Mason Williams. Um, back in the early 2000s, I thought, you know, I'm going to learn this song. I'm going to get the actual, you know, the real music to it. And I looked it up. I went to the music store because, you know, that was the thing back then. And I ordered it and it came in and I took it home and I started playing it, right? You know? I don't, I don't really know how to play it right now. I haven't worked on it as much, but I found like nine mistakes in the first eight measures from the recording, from the original recording. I thought, what? So I don't, I don't trust things like that. I don't trust ultimate guitar. You know, I mean, I use ultimate guitar once in a while and use it as a guide, but I don't trust it perfectly. I listen to it. I listen to my ears. And that's one of the reasons why I do my book that I publish it so that you can have the, you know, effort that I have put into my own stuff. Uh, Ceramic Tile Pro LLC. Hello. I don't think I've ever seen you on the, uh, on the live stream before or on the chat. It says the riff of to join him on the F chord has, oh, oh, odd timing at the end. Can you illustrate the beat? Oh, yeah. Okay. To join him. <laughs> To join him. To join him. Oh, okay. Let me go look at. I'm actually pulling up my book right now. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can look at the lyrics and see exactly where that is in the music. All right, let's see here. If you can tell me exactly what, that's the F major seven to A minor. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. about that Bob F major 7 I don't know if it's F major 7 oh there yeah your head is humming and it won't go in case you don't know Piper's calling you to join him dear lady yeah that part right there Every verse is exactly the same. So it could have been anything. It could have been... Um, let's see. Head is humming and it won't go In case you don't know Piper's calling you to join him I don't know if that's an F major 7, Bob. Honestly. Uh, an F major 7 would be... Join him. It could be. You know, I'd have to listen to the original recording and check it out. I always played it as an F, like that, instead of an F major 7. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me a thumbs up, everybody. That'd be great. Thanks, Dean, for reminding. Ceramic Tile says, yes. Bob Schumann, yes. Dear lady. There he goes. Yep, so I got it. <clears throat> Well, it goes, Dear lady, can you hear the wind, though? And did you know your stairway lies on the whispering wind? And then what does it do? A D. Like that. Yeah, Bob says, that's how I always played it, with an F major 7. Okay. Well, I always played it with an F. Now, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying that the way I heard it was an F. And there are many times, and a lot of times, I have played things for years, 
and I haven't played it with exactly the right chord. So I'd have to, I'm going to go back and listen to it again and see exactly which chord that was. It could be F major 7. Okay. Join. Yeah, you sing in a C there. Join him. Okay, so let's talk about that ceramic tile. Let's talk about the, let's see, the timing. I was calling you to join him. I'm going to use an F, Bob, because I, I always play it that way. So let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So that's what happens right there. That little F or F major 7 is on the fourth beat. It goes, your head is... Oh, let's start right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just doing a strumming instead of the instead of doing the picking. Like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Those are one, two, three, four. I was counting it with eighth notes is what I was doing. But it's actually on the upbeat. One, two. But if it's like one, two, three, four, one. Let me do it again. Ready? This is all live, okay? I can't edit this right now. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, right there you'll notice. I did it on the upbeat. Yeah, it's it's kind of tricky. Bob Schumann says, that's how I always played it. And he said, I didn't say it was right. <laughs> it's just how I played it. I understand. I understand it. Same thing with mine. F to A minor. We'll have to check it, Bob. Tell you what, on the Hangout, right after this, let's do it. Let's, let's listen to the recording and then go from there and see what it is. We'll do it. All right. Um, thank you very much for being here. I wonder if I'm going to get a copyright, you know, hit on this one and say, you can't, you know, since you've been playing that song and singing it and things like that, you're not going to get monetized. I don't know. We'll see what it says. Ceramic says, I listen to that over and over on the recording. That's what we do. Have you tried playing along with it? You know, when you, do you know the, the chords? C, C with a B bass, or could be a G with a B bass. I use a C with a B bass. A minor. C. Has it? Going back. You say you, yes. He says yes. Which I think means that he does play along with it. Cool. I played it. Played it ten tens this morning so far. Does that mean a hundred times? Yeah. That's what it takes, isn't it? You know what's really good about YouTube is that you can slow it down and play along with it that way. Yeah, 10 times. Oh, oh, right, 10 times. Yeah. Sometimes I played things 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, 50 times to try to get that. Oh, you're welcome. Ceramic Tile Pro LLC says, thanks for taking the time. Hey, do you have a channel? Because if you do, I'll look you up. And if you want to, go outside and play. That's what Dean says. Okay, great. Well, we'll look you up. Everybody go look up Ceramic Tile Pro LLC. Oh, he's a tile contractor. Excellent. Fantastic. I love it. It's good stuff. All right. Thank you for being here. I'm going to take off and hang out with my uh, supporters. If you want to know how to be a supporter, look in the description. We talked about, you know, I did that little rant about copyright and stuff like that. The people that give me a little bit of money, I mean, it, it, whether it's a dollar a month or two dollars a month or five dollars a month or ten dollars a month or more or whatever, uh, I invite them over to my hangouts. 
and you can come, hello, oh, you're welcome. I can't read that. I don't know where that's from. Dean, where's that, where's that from? What's that name there? Is that from, uh, I heard from you. Hello, hello, Lisa. Hello, hello, hello. Dust in the wind would be good to go over. Yes, I have a video on dust in the wind. You know? In fact, I was doing a little bit of dust in the wind this morning. And my wife goes, oh, are you doing Dust in the Wind? I love that song. I said, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, Russia. Very good. Well, thank you from Russia. Appreciate you being here. Thank you, thank you. I love Dust in the Wind. Go check out my video. Do a search. Dust in the Wind, Halstead, or Quail Studios, and it'll come up. Or go to my channel and search on the channel, and you'll find it. <laughs> And the fellow from Russia, or the lady, I don't know if it's a fellow or a lady. I'm going to guess it's a fellow. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Love you being here. Great. Fantastic. Ceramic Tile says, I'll go check it out. Everybody on, that's on here, and anybody who looks at this, go check out Ceramic Tile Pro LLC and check him out. And uh, I just did some tile in my bathroom not too long ago, and I, I look up videos about that. And uh, it wasn't your channel, but it was somebody else's channel. Well, anyway, thanks for being here, everybody. Love you a lot and your support. And we'll talk to you later, okay? See ya. <laughs>